the woolly mammoth. Titans of the Ice Age roamed our frozen landscapes until they vanished around 4,000 years ago. But now, in the name of science, they have returned! <clears throat> uh, well, sort of? Meet the Woolly Mouse, created by an American biotech company. They were significantly cuter than we, uh, I guess, originally anticipated. But these little fluff balls are more than just cute. They're actually a mammoth step forward in Colossal's grand plan to bring a woolly mammoth-like creature back to Earth. So we actually engineered a uh, mouse equivalent of mammoth genes that we've identified on our quest to bring back the mammoth. Yep, Ben and his team have used a lot of time and a lot of science to edit the genes of these mice so that their fur has almost the exact same traits as the woolly mammoth. We focus mostly on woolly hair and also a gene that's associated with fat. And their plan is to eventually try the same thing on an Asian elephant to create a modern-day mammoth-like animal that can live in Arctic conditions. Asian elephants are closer genetically to mammoths than Asian elephants are to African elephants. It's not possible to clone an extinct species. Uh, it is possible to do functional de-extinction where we're bringing back those core phenotypes or physical traits and then looking at those traits that we can then rewild back into their natural habitat. So why go to all that effort? Because we're looking to lose up to 50% of all biodiversity between now and 2050 if we don't do anything. Yeah, because of things like climate change and habitat loss from human impact, species extinctions are happening faster than ever. And these scientists reckon what they're working on today could end up helping endangered species in the future. We know that ecosystems that are more, more biodiverse are more robust and resilient. And we hope that by re-establishing these interactions, by protecting species from becoming extinct, we will protect and preserve biodiversity that will help stabilize ecosystems and stop the loss of species today. And they're not stopping at the mammoth. They're also planning to bring back the dodo, which once roamed the island of Mauritius. And they're even working with Aussie scientists to bring back Australia's thylacine, also known as the Tassie Tiger, which went extinct almost 90 years ago. But not everyone's convinced this is a good idea. And we all saw how Jurassic Park turned out. Your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. In fact, some experts reckon extinctions are a normal part of the evolutionary process and reintroducing extinct species could mess up current ecosystems, while others say genetically modifying animals raises some ethical concerns, and that the time and resources spent on de-extinction could be better used to protect and conserve existing endangered species and their habitats. Even if you could do that to an Asian elephant, that's not resurrecting anything. They're taking mouse mutations and putting it into an elephant. For now, Colossal still has a lot to figure out, and it will probably be a while before we see something like this roaming Earth again. In the meantime, could we see those mice again? Oh, they're just so cute!